Hey everybody, my name's Commander Eagle 131, and I would like to show off my Stroud Eklund Decatur class frigate. The Decatur class, it's an endgame warship featuring some pretty punishing firepower. Um, it's a ship mostly of my design. I took a lot of cues from the Halo Universe's warships. They have these massive forward-mounted uh, rail cannons, and I tried to bring that into one of my builds. I also wanted to design a Stroud ship that didn't look like such a flat shape. If you look at their ship offerings, they all kind of remind me of stuff straight out of Elite 1984. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing, it's just I kind of wanted to make something that looked a bit more modern. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My particular build features four particle cannons mounted inside the rail cannon bay. You can put rails in there, um, but personal preference, I, I ultimately chose particle beams because they're my favorite. It also features four auto cannons as well. Um, so, you know, even in very hard difficulty, this ship can dish out quite a beating and it can take quite a beating as well. Okay, before we get started, it's disclaimer time. So this is not a ship builder tutorial, this is a ship build tutorial. I will be showing you how to build this specific ship. Next, the Decatur class is an endgame warship, so you're gonna need level 60 or above with rank 4 ship designs and piloting. You should be able to build the ship without max level, but your mileage may vary based on level and skill ranks. And last, the body of the ship relies on glitch building, so if you've never done it before, I will have a how-to section once we start in the builder. Don't worry, your achievements won't be borked and you won't be branded as a cheater. If you're the 100% vanilla type of player, then you may need to find other ways to get the uh, body shape down. Before we head off to the builder, we're going to need to pick up a few Star Yard specific modules from uh, Stroud Eklund and Nova Galactic. We'll start with Stroud Eklund. You're going to need one Stroud Contiki B600 bridge, one 2x2 two two Stroud Battle Stations have. Next, from the Nova Galactic vendor at New Homestead, you're going to need one 2x2 two two Nova Galactic Living Quarters have. This can be subbed out with the Stroud 2x2 two two Living Quarters if you want to keep it all Stroud. And last, four NG-20 landing gear. And we're ready to build. Okay, so here we are in the builder. Um, I've got everything exploded. So right here, we have our Habs deck by deck. And here in this pile, uh, all the structural pieces and some fuel tanks and some of the engines uh, that go on uh, around the Habs. So this whole area here, the, ha the main Habs and all these structural pieces, that's all going to be the aft section. So over here, we have our engine nacelles. Those also go in the aft section a few guns those will get put on later and last but not least this is the forward cannon assembly uh, this part's gonna be a bit of a monster there's so many little pieces in here so I'm gonna save this for last and uh, we'll try to get this thing together as uh, orderly as possible so um, we'll start with the Habs and then assemble the aft section in its entirety and then we'll do the same thing with the forward cannon section. So, here we go. Okay, so we're going to start with the first deck. Um, we're going to build um, our pathway from the ground floor to the bridge. Um, I've heard it helps with ladder placement. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I always just kind of do it now. So, let's start with the uh, Tayo landing bay. Yep. Tile landing bay goes right here, and a Deimos companionway right behind it. And underneath that one by one goes a slim docker. Underneath, like that. Next, let's pull this over here. We have a Deimos one by one, another Deimos one by one, and on the very top, we have a Stroud one by one. Next, um, our Stroud Battle Stations 2x2 hab is going to uh, go right there, affixed to that anchor point. 
And then right here in that spot, um, we're going to put our um, B600 bridge. Okay, so let's um, assemble the rest of these halves. Um, starting on deck two goes our Nova Galactic Armory. And beside it goes uh, Nova Galactic Birth A. If you know me by now, it wouldn't be an EG ship shop build without a Nova Galactic Birth A. <laughs> it's my favorite have. Above, um, we're going to put our Nova Galactic Living Quarters, 2x2 two two hab, right in there. All these should line up like this. Just one stack. Okay, so moving back to this companionway part, um, we're going to put two Nova Galactic 1x1s one on either side of it. Like so. Moving one floor up, we have a Deimos Captain's Quarters right next to the 2x2 two two battle stations. And on the very top, right behind the B600 bridge, we're going to put a 1x1. One one. And that is our fully assembled main hab layout. So a few comments on, on these HABs. We've got kind of a mishmash of, of parts here. Um, w of course, we have our central ladder well um, that lets you access all floors of the ship. There's only one ladder well. I chose Deimos mostly um, because the lighting's different and it just looks different. So, you know, it really makes you feel like you're in kind of a different part of the ship. Um, the top one is a Stroud companionway because of how the exterior looks. This is going to blend the aft section with the forward cannon section um, because running the spine of the forward cannon we have these stroud uh, halves and it's got this nice little um, line of paint on either side so it gives you some nice lines to kind of look um, fore and aft on the ship. On a note of um, these guys, these two one by ones on the side of the ladder well, um, there's going to go windows here. So this will let you look into the firing chamber of the forward cannon assembly. And then last, on the note of the bridge placement, uh, if you would like, you can move the bridge there so the whole thing's accessible by one ladder. Um, I think it looks neater further back, so on my build it's going to have just two sets of ladders. And this one by one isn't needed, um, but when we start assembling the structural parts, uh, this is going to get surrounded in windows. So, you know, it's I think of it as the crow's nest. You can go up there and kind of have a good look around. The ship sits pretty high, so you get a nice overview of your landing area when you go up into this little one by one cube and you can look around. So, OK, let's move on here. Let's get our grab drive and our reactor fitted real quick. Um, we're going to use a J51 Gamma drav Grab Drive. And that's going to go inside this empty compartment here. And that's why we have all of our 2x2 uh, two two halves stacked the way we do, because we're hiding the main modules inside of this area. And our um, SF40 sheared float reactor goes right behind the Grab Drive. So we're going to start assembling this monstrosity over here. Um, this is a combination of structural parts, fuel tanks, engines, uh, and landing gear. So I'll try to keep this as organized as possible. Um, we're also going to begin with our glitch building here. So uh, I will be showing you how to um, do the glitch building stuff momentarily. So let's start with the structural pieces. We'll start on the top, work our way forward, and work our way down. So on the top here, mounted behind this one by one crow's nest companionway, uh, we're going to have this Deimos cowling aft facing. Just like that. On top of our Stroud 2x2, two two, um, we're going to have a Deimos spine A aft and fore. On each side. Moving uh, to the front area here, this Stroud nose cap C, the 4 variant, is going to get placed inside of here. Let's get our windows put on. Um, here's a aft facing porthole on the crow's nest. 
and windows on either side. Like that. Moving down, we're going to have a rear-facing porthole on the captain's quarters, and another rear-facing porthole on the 2x2 two -two battle stations. Let us move to one floor down. So there's our little 1x1s one on either side of the ladder well. These two portholes, we're going to go put two portholes just like that. Let's move down to this floor. We're going to have another uh, Stroud Nose Cap C, one per side. And underneath those, we're going to have these Nose Cap A's, like this. And another one on the other side. And now we get into our glitch building section. I have this Deimos Skeg A, and I want to put it on this anchor point, on this connection point, inside of this Stroud cap. We want it to go that way. Obviously that's not going to work. So all we're going to do is we're going to grab our Skeg A. It's connected and then on the keyboard you're going to press Z to flip it. And then press Z again to flip it back. And then wait for the connection sound. So you hear this. And we're going to let go of uh, left mouse and uh, just cancel. And boom, it's in place. We can't just select the piece from the menu in, in glitch build. Um, the item has to already be placed inside the builder area for this to work. And also, it has to be a flippable object. You can't combine two non-flippable objects. It, unfortunately, to my knowledge, doesn't work that way. So... Um, I'll show you that one more time. So here's our Stroud Nose Cap A. Here's our Deimos uh, Skeg A. We want it to go to that anchor point. Flip, flip, sound effect, cancel. And there you go. Sometimes it won't connect um, and you have to do it again. It's a little finicky. Um, to ensure it's connected, I'll just double click to make sure it's, it's, it's in there. Um, when you first get that piece in place, I would double check to verify it's connected because if you don't and you assemble a big ship like this and it and the thing tells you there's an error, the modules aren't connected, you might have a heck of a time trying to figure out which glitch built piece isn't actually connected. Okay, so let's move on to the landing gear. Just take uh, our four Nova Galactic landing gear and turn them all into the wide variant and they're going to get placed directly behind that nose cap the uh, Stroud Nose Cap A. And uh, I'm going to put the other set on the other side. Okay. Between those landing gear are going to go two 500T HE3 tanks. Like so. Then another Helium 3 tank right underneath our Deimos Cowling. Okay. Let's uh, tap over to our engines section. We're going to be using two Nova 1050 engines from Relodyne, and both of them are going to get fixed right there. Tabbing over to your um, cargo section, we're going to use this 100cm ballast cargo container, and that's going to get mounted right underneath that uh, 500T Helium-3 tank. Paging over to your structural we got a Hope Tech Nose B, and that's the aft variant. That gets attached to your 500T tank down below here. And for the final part, go over to your um, Shield Generators tab, and we're going to be using this guy here, the one that gives 1600 shield points. And we're going to put that on top of the Crow's Nest. And congratulations, we've got all this stuff's assembled. So if you're still with me, let's move on to the uh, engine nacelles. This part's going to be pretty simple. Let me click and drag and move this guy on over. So we'll um, start with the structural pieces first. Um, so attached to this corner of our Stroud Battle Station tab, um, we're going to have our Stroud Cowling. It's uh, going to be port top. Gets fixed there. In front of it is a uh, Stroud A-cap. Let's move down one level. 
Uh, we're going to have a Tayo end cap. And in front of that tile end cap goes a Stroud nose cap D. Underneath that D nose cap, okay, uh, we're going to have another Stroud cap A, and this is going to be the bottom variant. So we're going to get that, you know, that nose cone shape here. And this uh, D class nose cap kind of, how it's shorter, it kind of gives that image that this might be some sort of intake for the engine. Okay, so go ahead and tab over to your um, cargo cargo bays. We're going to use an upside down port Galleon S203 cargo hold and that's going to go right underneath that Tayo side cap. And behind that um, cargo hold goes a 10ST hauler cargo hold. Okay, and uh, tap on over to your engine section. We're going to be placing another Nova 1050 engine right here in this shelf. And that is how you assemble the engine to sell. So do that a second time. Uh, I'm just going to double click and move mine over. Okay, that pretty much concludes our whole entire aft section. So congratulations, you got the uh, back section completed. Actually, it looks like this could be its own whole ship, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, let's move on to the um, forward cannon assembly. Um, here's our forward cannon assembly. You can see I've got it, got this whole section exploded, so you can kind of see an overview of uh, how it's put together. This is the bottom floor here with all of the cannon mounting parts there in the middle. Um, and this is what I call the perimeter, the area surrounding where the uh, main cannons go. Um, it's all structural stuff. To start with this section, uh, we'll begin with um, the bottom halves, and then we're going to work our way from the bottom up. I have also since removed the guns from here. I will I put the guns over in a gun pile, so we'll do that at a later time. All right, let's begin. So tab over to your habs section. We're going to take a Nova Galactic Workshop 2x1 and put it right here on the second deck attached to this 1x1 in the ladder well. Now you can use a Stroud Workshop if you'd like, um, or even the Deimos one so you get the research station in there, uh, but I chose the Nova Galactic one because it's my favorite, so personal preference. In front of that, we're going to put a Deimos um, Engineering Bay A. Again, personal preference for me because the interior has a bunch of pipes and machines and stuff, so I thought it would be cool to go underneath all of this stuff here, um, the guns and what whatnot. So. Okay, so there's our bottom floor, our kind of spinal, where everything gets hooked onto. That's that's done now. So let's assemble the bottom perimeter. So um, go ahead and tab over to your structural section. Go ahead and find you uh, a Stroud nose cap D, like I have here. Uh, go ahead and place it into the builder, because we're going to need to glitch build it right here. So you see how it's, I have it mounted like that. It blends in with this slanted nose cap. It gives it its unique look. Um, so to glitch build this in, I haven't been successful at glitch building the nose cap Ds, because when you flip them, they, they end up going one level down. Um, so... Let's do it in reverse instead. So let's pull out this cap C that we put in here earlier. Take that out and mount our uh, nose cap D right here to the side of the workshop. And then we're going to go and glitch build the cap C back inside of this empty space. So stick that back in there. Flip, flip, sound effect, cancel. Double click, it's connected. Excellent. So you're going to be taking a bunch of these cap nose cap Ds. Um, we're going to just surround this uh, engineering bay with them. Like so. Let's page around to the front here. We're going to put a, a porthole up front. Okay. So do all this to the other side. And I'm going to do it in fast forward. Okay. So here's our, our bottom floor assembled, our perimeter assembled. 
let's move up one floor and get our cannon mounts and all that structural work in. So, under your structural tab, find yourself a uh, Nova Galactic weapon mount. And we're going to fix it to this one by one on the main ladder well. Like so. Okay, find yourself a uh, Hope Tech Pipes 4. Here comes another glitch build. We're going to put it right here on that attachment point. So, flip, flip, sound effect, cancel, double click, connected, good. Next, we're going to need a Deimos aft cowling, and that's going to get fixed to that point there. So, another glitch build. So, attach, flip, flip, sound effect, cancel, double click, it's connected. Okay, and then we're going to place another noble weapon mount on the end of that Deimos cowling that we just glitch built. Grab yourself another Hope Tech Pipes and that gets fixed right there. Glitch built. Double click, connected, good. Between these two forks of the uh, front Nova weapon mount goes a uh, Hope Tech Riser A. Like so. So before we start anything else, um, go ahead and tab over to your uh, weapons tab. Uh, now's a good time to uh, put our main cannons in there. You can use whatever guns you want. Um, if you wanted to keep it true to form, you could you could use rail guns. I've used rail guns in here before, but it doesn't kill fast enough for my liking. So um, I put alpha beams in here instead. Uh, but you can use whatever gun you like. Most of them are going to fit inside of here. So we're going to take two alpha beams and attach them to these points here, the, the two outside and rear points on our Nova weapon mount. Two there, and two exactly in the same orientation on the front weapon mount. Just like that. Okay. Let's go back to our uh, structural tab. In front of our Hope Tech A riser, we're going to put a TIO forward sensors. Just like this. Okay. Next, we're going to take Stroud Engine Bracer Bs, these pillar looking things. We're going to be using 10 total. So take one. Our first one gets placed here. Then four more. That line almost the entirety of the uh, forward cannon assembly like this. So take five more and place them on the other side. Okay. Let's move up one floor. Um, we're going to begin closing off the forward cannon area. Let's start with our perimeter. Um, so we're going to have um, more Stroud nose cap D's on the top. And it's going to be a mirror of the uh, bottom the bottom perimeter floor. We're going to need to glitch build again up top here, so go ahead and remove your uh, nose cap C and place a nose cap D down. And then attach it to that point there on top of these two engine bracers. And then move your C cap back in. Flip, flip, down effect, cancel, double click, yep. Okay, and then you're you're gonna surround our whole perimeter with these nose cap D's, so let's get that done real quick. Alright, so we've got our perimeters here assembled. So let's go ahead and fill in the middle section now. Go on over to your HAB section. You can use whichever HAB you like as long as they're Stroud Eklund. I chose the Stroud ones because um they have these nice lines, paint lines on either side of the hab, so it gives you these really cool leading lines down the center line of the ship. For my build, I've got an all-in-one berth B and an infirmary. Uh, I thought it would make sense to have these. Maybe not on top of the cannon bay. I wasn't really sure what to put here, but <laughs> this is what I have. <laughs> We're going to go back into the structural section. Find yourself two Deimos bumpers, starboard fours. And they're going to go inside of this empty space here, like so. 
So we can't actually put that one next to it. I think it's a little silly. Come on, Bethesda. Uh, but uh, we have to glitch build that in. So flip, flip, done. Lastly, we're going to have this Deimos Spine F. You can see the front has a little slope. The slope's going to go uh, in the front. So again, this is going to be another glitch build. So place it in the builder and then move it. And that gets fixed on top of the tile forward sensors. Flip, flip, sound effect, cancel, and she's connected. Excellent. Okay, let's move on to the top. You're going to need a, a Deimos A spine. Goes here. And three Deimos B spines, which will go in front of um, the A spine we just placed. And then a Deimos D spine flipped aft, and that's going to go up front. And it'll look a little something like that. So that's it for the structural parts here. Um, go ahead and tab over to your um, landing gear tab and find a uh, Hope 5 landing gear. And we will put that one right here on the front side of the engineering bay A. Just like that. We don't actually need this. Um, these uh, landing gear from Nova Galactic, the NG-20s, they're beasts. Gives you four lander thrust. So we don't actually need this landing gear up, up here, I don't believe. But it looks kind of silly when you're landed without it. Uh, it looks like the front of the ship's going to teeter forward. So I wanted to put something up here. <laughs> we only have these guys left to go. We're almost there. So go to your structural tab, get yourself some equipment plates. We're going to need two. And they're going to go on either side of our uh, Deimos A spine. Head on over to your weapons tab. I'm using the uh, Vanguard auto cannons only um, purchasable after you join the United Colonies Vanguard. Two up front on those equipment plates, and then the back two go on the uh, cap A on each engine nacelle. And there we have it. There's our Stroud Eklund Decatur class fully assembled. Okay, so for the coloring, I'm not going to go into each and every single individual piece but the general gist i went for here i didn't want to go overly aggressive so i didn't paint the whole thing you know jet black or anything um stroud parts look kind of nice in lighter coloring in my personal opinion um so i went for um this blue gray look so i kind of kind of combined a little bit of black and a little bit of blue for the primary color and then black for the rest, um, like so here. For the uh, to get these nice solid white lines uh, on the habs, um, and also on these Deimos parts, um, let's just check out the hab real quick. So I did that same dark kind of gray color uh, with the splash of blue, so it gives it a little bit of a lighter color. Um, and I believe, yeah. So here's the color three. Um, I've got that kind of a, a lighter gray, uh, and that gives it its um, white stripes down the center line. So if you can kind of see, you know, I did the I did the perimeter here, a lighter blue gray, then a white, and then a darker a darker gray in the center. So we have kind of like this three tone neutral color thing going on. I'm not a color expert, um, and it. In fact, it took me forever to find something that looked nice to my eyes. Yeah, you can paint it however you'd like. Um, the one important thing, um, I did want this cannon assembly on the inside here to stick out. So I did paint all of these pretty much solid white, so they're high visibility. Yeah, all three colors are going to be white. Um, because in normal circumstances, since this is an enclosed cannon assembly here, it's pretty dark and no light gets in, except from the sides. You have this really kind of ominous looking, you know, forward cannon area uh, with the high visibility white, so you can just barely make out that there's a bunch of ribbing in here, maybe some pipes, and it really gives it its menacing mechanical look, saying, hey, this is a giant cannon, so you better not tick us off. <laughs> so, 
that's pretty much it. It's basically a neutral colored ship. So choose whichever paint scheme you'd like. I'm not a color master. This is what I painted mine. This is what I like. So do whatever you like. And if you want to copy mine, cool, go for it. <laughs> so that's the uh, Decatur class fully done and painted. So I guess I'll see you in space. Check the place. We're good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was easy enough for you to follow. And enjoy your new Decatur class frigate. And I'll see you in the next one.